Well, I am standing in an office with Jan for the tips of the month because we're also going to get some, some fun information sure. today too besides sure. tips. But let's start with, I see soil, I'm thinking seeds. Right. Um, these are, there's only six seeds and it's Cobea scandens, which is a cup and saucer vine, which I've propagated years ago and had great luck with. And the last few years haven't. They rot really easily if you overwater them. So you said six seeds, you mean literally one, one seed, seed per, per wow. pot. That's all that's in the package. I mean, wow. they're not cheap seeds. Yeah. Um, but um, they're fun to do. And this is, um, this is a picture of, of a cup and saucer vine right here. They're so beautiful. They are beautiful. And so I, I'm going to try it again and <laughs> see if it works. And if I don't, I probably won't be doing it again if I can't get them. This year I have them in the house, in yeah. the kitchen, under the skylight. Um, and then here's my curiosity. Nothing's coming up yet. Of course, they've only been planted less than a week. <laughs> so I had to dig this one out to see if the seed Just to was see if it's viable. <laughs> And, and the reason that you're doing those, though, is because we can easily buy these plants at garden centers already grown, but you really love growing seeds. It's, I do. It's something that you're passionate about. But maybe if I saw one in a garden center, I'd stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be there eventually. That's right. And the other thing that's kind of fun and interesting is that, um, that vines go different directions. Not all vines twine the same. So... There's the left to right and right to left. Right. There's an anti-clockwise or counterclockwise and clockwise. clockwise. So if you're trying to train a vine and you're trying to train it where you think it ought to go, just look at it first and see which way it's twisting. And you know, I know a, a lot of times with customers I've talked to, that baffles them. They're, they're, we're just not aware of that. Yeah. But it really is, it's a science thing. It really it occurs. It is, and it's kind of like the, the myth that on the other side of the equator, the toilet water <laughs> goes the other direction, but it doesn't. It and just, the equator it's doesn't do make that. any difference. It's the plant. It's the plant itself. Yeah. And so like a, an example of, of clockwise would be runner bean or morning glory. Uh -huh. Uh, climbing hydrangea is a counterclockwise. Wow. So just take a look. It's and looking at it, once it starts, you'll know right away which yeah, it decides to tell do because that's all where it do. wants to go. And sure. then I'm seeing a lot of, of writing and leaves mm -hmm. and a weird little microphone at your desk. So a microscope, yes. It's a digit. I said microphone. We'll, yeah, we'll okay. hear whatever's going on in the leafing. That's okay. <laughs> um, it's, a, uh, it's a digital viewer. It's called a plug-and-play digital viewer. And I'm not wow. selling these or anything. No, you're not. Um, but I, I love gadgets anyway. And it's you can use it. Wow. To look how and your computer is the monitor there. And based on how tight you get it. You can see, this is a, this is a uh, camellia with eye relief virus. And some people think it's a variegated camellia, but it's not. <laughs> um, and if you wanted it to green up the leaf, you could put magnesium on it and the chlorophyll will come back. But it isn't gonna hurt the plant at all. And here I have examples of eye relief virus uh, on a leaf, same plant, and this is a normal leaf. So they would all look like this if they didn't have the virus. Yeah. And over here we have a skimmia uh, with sun scald. And so it's not, a, not an insect, it's not a disease, it's an environmental condition. Right, right. And up here we have skimmia with spider mites on it, little insects that suck all the juice out. It may be a little bit hard to see, but there's little tiny fine um, white spots, but where they've sucked the chlorophyll out. Right. Yeah. So that's spider mite, and normally it's when they're in a lot of sun. And here's spider. Uh, here's the normal leaf that's not affected. Here is uh, a burgundia, which is being eaten by root weevil. And so it's an edge notching. Rhododendrons the same. Azaleas, lots of other plants, get eaten by root weevil. And this is root weevil on a piece of Daphne. And then here's the azalea la uh, lace bug on, this was, is on a, uh, a rhododendron. And you can see it's the same, it looks the same as the skin right. the spider mite, but, but different. it's different. And the microscope helped you identify that because you could see what the differences were. Well, you then. can see the differences. Right. And then later in the season, you'll be able to see the insects on exactly. the whole the underside. Well, you know, sometimes when the weather is kind of still cold <laughs> and wet, there are plenty of things you can do to still find information that will help your garden. So that's our tips of the month this month. Thank you so much, Jen. We're going to do this again next month, okay? Okay.